Donald Trump was inaugurated roughly five weeks ago, and to say a lot has happened is a bit of an understatement. From executive actions, multiple press conferences, new people elected into power, people no longer in power, it could be a bit difficult to keep up with everything that's going on. I'm here to tell you five controversial events that have happened in the first five weeks of Donald Trump's presidency. I'm Bray Lamoth, and this is Cal TV News. So who's our new education secretary, Betsy DeVos? Vice President Mike Pence broke the tie, which confirmed her as the new education secretary. It is widely known that DeVos, most of her career, she's only been giving money to private schools. In addition, according to the New York Times, neither Ms. DeVos nor any of her children actually went to a public school. So now the controversy becomes, where is this going to leave the public school system with someone who lacks the experience? Next, Trump's travel ban. Trump's executive order banned entry into the U.S. for citizens from seven predominantly Muslim countries for 90 days and refugees for 120 days. As a result, protests were occurring in major airports nationwide. In the end, the U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals unanimously decided to reject the ban, which left Trump displeased and him tweeting that he's going to see them in court. Now for number three, Donald Trump's recent press conference with reporter Jake Turks. Turks from Amin magazine asked Trump what will be done to stop anti-Semitism in the U.S. Trump believed the reporter was insinuating that he was anti-Semitic. Trump interrupted, told the reporter to sit down. And instead of answering the question of how he's going to stop the issue, Trump goes on to say he's the least anti-Semitic person. So here's the story, folks. Uh, number one, I am the least anti-Semitic person that you've ever seen in your entire life. Number four, Michael Flynn resigning as national security advisor. Flynn had many conversations with the Russian ambassador, yet was not honest with White House officials about the information that was exchanged. He told Vice President Pence that no sanctions against Moscow were discussed, and Pence publicly defended Flynn's claims. However, later on, the administration was warned about the misinformation. As a result, the Justice Department feared that Flynn could potentially be blackmailed, which ultimately led him to resign. Only being the national security advisor for less than a month, Flynn no longer has the job. And finally, alternative facts. President Trump's press secretary, Sean Spicer, made the assertion that Donald Trump's inauguration was the most viewed inauguration in history without factual evidence. Afterwards, counsel to the president, Kellyanne Conway, was featured on NBC's Meet the Press with host Chuck Todd. Todd asked Conway why Spicer decided to say that it was the most viewed inauguration when he had no facts to claim that in the first place. According to NBC, Conway said to Todd, you're saying it's a falsehood, and they're giving, Sean Spicer, our press secretary, gave alternative facts. Todd responded with, alternative facts aren't facts, but they're falsehoods. Look, alternative facts are not facts. They're falsehoods. And that was five controversial events that have happened in the first five weeks of Donald Trump's presidency. I'm Bray Lamoth, Cal TV News.